yellow group. Welcome to Thursday. No, sorry. Oh my gosh, we're on Wednesday. Oh, I got too excited. Okay, <laughs> we're on Wednesday. It's gonna be all right. We're halfway there, right? It's okay. So, uh, Ariana, you have one, three, six, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. 16, 20. We are on page 160, okay? But I figure you're following along in your packet, so you figure that out. Um, And then, William, you have all of those plus 4, 5, 9, 10, and 19. Okay? Sweet! Okay, number one. Another word for significant is important. So it's I M P. O R T A N T. Three. Another word for aroma is fragrance. So an aroma would be like a perfume or like a flower or a good smell. Something that smells good. Or I guess it could have a bad smell. Something that smells. <laughs> um, and then another word for that is fragrance. So F R A G R a N C E. Did I get it? And then four, another word for attentive, meaning you're paying attention, is observant, meaning you are watching and paying attention. Okay? So that is a William one. That is O B S E R V A N. Good. Five, bother. Another word for bother is a nuisance. So on the test for William, I put um, that a rat is sometimes considered a nuisance or a bother, meaning like they get into things, they cause problems, that kind of thing. So it's N U I S A N C E. Six, meeting. Another word for a meeting is a, think about when your parents meet the teacher. What's it called? A parent-teacher conference. So it's C-O-N-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Okay. Number eight. Another word for lasting. This is like when you get Sharpie on something and you're like, oh, it's not going to come out. It's going to last forever. It is permanent. So, P-E-R-M-A-N-E-N-T. Okay. Number 10. Unvarying, meaning it doesn't change ever. It just stays the same. So, that would be constant. So it's C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T. That was number nine. Okay, number ten. Another word for smart is intelligent. So it's I-N-T-E-L-L-I-G-E-N-T. -L -L -E -E You're so intelligent. You just spelled intelligent. That was bad. Guys, it's getting really bad. I'm going on three weeks of being here by myself. I'm <laughs> losing it a little bit. Okay, so 10. Oh, lies. We just did 10. Okay, 11. Okay. Did your blank playing baseball help you run faster? That would be your experience. Experience is what, um, like... Almost just said experience is the experience, but it's it's a it's a hard to explain. It's like if you've done it before, you have experience. Okay, so your e x p e r i e n c e experience. Okay, twelve. Since the blank of my gloves, my hands have been cold. Where'd they go? Who knows? It's a disappearance. So it's D I S A P P E A R A 
A-N-C-E. Holy cow. Y'all are probably not going to be able to fit that on that line. Because I didn't. <laughs> so, just be aware of that. Number 13. Jane had a blank cough for the past week. Okay, this is like a cough that doesn't go away. It just continues on and on and on and on and on. Okay? That is a persistent cough. So it's P E R S I S T A N T. T E N T. Oh my gosh. I was looking at the other one. Holy cow. P E R S I S T E N T. Persistent. Ent, not ant. Ent. <gasps> that was almost really bad. Okay. 15. My father met an old blank on the train. He met an old friend. What's another word for a friend? An acquaintance. So it's A C Q U A. <laughs> I'm so paranoid I'm going to spell it wrong now. I N T A N C E. Y'all are going to have to squeeze it because I did. And y'all write bigger than me. 16. This was hard for me. I had to go through the other ones. But this blank happens only once a decade. It is an occurrence. So something that only happens every so often. Like um, an eclipse. Or a pandemic. <laughs> or something. Okay. So it's O C C. U R R E N C E. So, oh. 19. Unfortunately, the news was filled with too much what? Violence. So it's V I O L E N C E. Twenty. The blank scheduled a speech for Tuesday. That would be the president. So, P R E S I D E N T. And that is it. Yay! Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.